Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Teamstar and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your 32-bit device to literally any iOS supported for um, that device. For example, I have here my iPhone 4S right now and I could downgrade it to iOS 9, iOS 8, 7 um, or 6 or I think even 5 if you do have the um, SHSH blobs for the firmware you want to downgrade to. So for this you do need SHSH blobs. Also you do need to have a jailbreak. Basically um, it's like the Odysseus method which was um, made public I think last year. Um, now the main advantage with Future Restore plus Odysseus is that you do need firmware bundles anymore. It's like the patches are done in place. Also, you do not keep the basement which you have installed right now, but you need to install a signed basement, which works in most cases. I didn't have any issues um, installing the 935 basement on iOS 6, uh, 7, or 8, but you can also install any other signed basement, for example, since for my iPhone 4S, iOS 6, 3, uh, 1 and 841 uh, is signed, I can uh, install either of those basements, which uh, I'm gonna show you how to do in a second. So what you need to do with the device is um, you need to put it in KD view mode. So there are two ways of putting the device in KD view mode. First one I'm going to show you right now, basically you open up Cydia. This is the easier of the two ways. Then you go to sources and add my repo, which is repo.teamstar.net. So let's go back, then simply go to system and we install KD view app. This is the easy method of getting into KD view mode. So just let it install. Um, yeah, let, let's finish this first. Back to Cydia and KD view map is uh, KD view app is installed. Just open it up find a bundle and it doesn't really matter which bundle appears here, just any, make sure any bundle appears here, then download, find, pawn and enter KD if you mode, that's it. So this does work for a few devices, but um, there are some devices which are not supported by KD if you app. I will update the app eventually to support more devices, but I'm not sure when. So the second method of getting into KD view mode is you just Google um, a tutorial for how to use Odysseus. It says you need to make a custom firmware. So after you make this custom firmware, you have a pawned IBSS. And what you need to do is you, use, you need to SSH into your phone and use Kloader and load that pawn pawned IBSS. And it doesn't matter which firmware you're doing this, like for example, I have my iPhone 4S and I want to downgrade to iOS 8. I can use an iOS 6 custom firmware to use that pawned IBSS and use it with Kloader to get into KD view mode. So um, for the KD view mode part, just use any um, Odysseus bundle, any uh, firmware, get the pawned uh, IBSS and load it with Kloader and this is basically KD view mode. So let's continue here. Our device is in KD view mode right now. Um, you can check with irecovery.m in case it's installed. If it doesn't appear right uh, there, you can like try to disconnect and reconnect your phone. That usually helps. And now we're gonna downgrade it to, um, let's say iOS 8. So basically we can do it with uh, any iOS, but we need to have um, blobs and keys need to be public for it. So right now I don't have like blobs. I'm going to downgrade to iOS 841. So I need to get new OTA blobs. I can do this with TSS checker, TSS checker. 
then iPhone 41, then I need to type in my ESIT, then i for iOS 841, because that's the iOS I want to downgrade to, and since the OTA blobs are still signed, I can just fetch new OTA blobs, then dash O for OTA and dash S for saving. So that should do the trick and get us some blobs. So it saved like a few blobs, but all in one file. Let's see. Basically, these are our blobs, and we're gonna use them. Uh, what we need right now is future restore. Um, just type in future restore to check the version and make sure it says Odysseus support yes. Um, if it says no, you can't do it. You need to uh, build future restore with uh, lib eye patcher. And if you have future restore with built in lib eye patcher, it will say Odysseus support yes. So make sure it says yes. When it says yes, you will see this flag um, use pawn DFU. It shouldn't be there if it says no. And this is basically what we're going to use. So, what you want to do is future restore, then T, then the um, dash T, then your uh, AP ticket, uh, ticket dot sh sh. So just so you get the idea, then you um, make latest base band, latest base base band. And then we also want to use pawn DFU since our DOIS is in KDFU mode. And then we just specify the firmware, which is in my case in the IPSW folder iPhone 41841. And this um, should work right out the box. Um, so you can basically use this command. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is how to also install the. Um, iOS 841 baseband. This is completely optional. Um, you do not need to install the 841 baseband. The 935 baseband works fine, so this should work. But in case you do want to install the 841 baseband, you need to get the baseband file and the um, and the correct uh, build manifest. So let's do this right now. Let's clean the screen. Cancel this. Basically, we need to get the baseband first, and we can use the one in the IPSW file since it's the same in the OTA and in the IPSW. Um, unzip L, which shows us all files inside the firmware file. And here we have the firmware track baseband. So, what we're gonna do now is unzip, then the IPSW, and that file, which should unzip only the file. Let's see. Here it is, the firmware. We move firmware track right here and remove the firmware directory. So basically we have the basement firmware now. Next we need to get the um, build manifest from the OTA zip. And let's find out where uh, we can find the zip. This can be easily done with uh, TSS checker iPhone 41 E iOS 841 O make sure to use no cache so we can see the firmware URL and that should be it so we can even cancel it right now basically all we need is this URL this URL um, tells us where to get the build manifest and here's also the path. Uh, what you can do is you can download the zip file, the whole zip file, and just extract that file or I can use partial zip browser. You can find it on my repo. Um, get, then we just want the build manifest and we want to get it from here and it should download the just the build manifest. So that took a while um, and we see K 
getting succeeded. So if we check our files, we have now our SHSH file, the build manifest from the OTA zip and the baseband file from the um, IPSW. So as I said, this is completely optional. You can just use latest baseband it will sh uh, and it will work. But here I show you how to install the 841 baseband. So again, future restore, then minus, uh, what's that, P for baseband, P list. This is the build manifest we just got. Um, minus B, this is the basement we want to install. Then we want to use pawn DFU and the uh, ticket. This is the um, SHSH file. And the last parameter is the firmware we want to restore 8, no, iPhone 841. So this is the command for restoring with the um, 841 basement. And that's it. So this is the command we need to type. And we just click enter. And that's about it. This should like normally restore your device with the um, Odysseus method. So you don't need to do any custom bundles. Everything is done automat automatically on the fly. Um, there's a patch finder which uh, automatically patches IBEC and this is where the restore could fail. So there are basically two patches which need to be applied. The one patches the firmware checks and the second one patches the ticket check. So if the firmware um, check fails, the uh, image validation check fails, the device just won't boot. Um, but that's the patch finder from uh, I hate snow and I had never any issues with that. So this should be fine in most cases. And the second patch uh, patches the ticket validation routine. Um, and if that patch fails, your restore will basically fail midway. So we can see uh, sending root ticket right now over here and if this step works then the patch was correct and if the patch was incorrect everything will work until this step um, and it will fail here basically forcing you to restore so keep in mind this is still b beta and um, the patch might not work uh, on any on every firmware uh, I tested it with a few firmwares on iOS um, six, seven, eight, and nine, and it worked for me. It uh, could work for you, and maybe it. Um, so keep in mind there could be issues. After this, uh, the restore is like as usual. So now the device booted up, just, we can just set it up, just uh, unlock Zim. So choose language. Now the phone's being activated. and just click through the usual uh, setup process. And we're done. So we can check here. Um, the firmware is now 841. And if we scroll down, uh, let me try to hide it. Okay. 
So you can see the uh, baseband firmware is 5.5 .5, which is the one we just installed. Okay. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed.